nation will be burned up in hell when you die without Christ. Do you understand? That is your message for today in the on a football game. Your money, your t-shirt is going to last. It's not going to last for eternity in a hellfire. What you need is a hellfire preaching today. Hey, is your preacher has told you how to get out of hell? Is your preacher has told you how to live holy? If it is not, it's time for you to stop sinning. It's time for you to read your Bible. You live in a Bible belt. You're supposed to be reading your Bible today, not to go to sports. You're supposed to be telling your kids that there is God. Today is Sunday. You're supposed to be telling your family how do you live holy. If you're a dad, how to be a dad. If you're a mom, how to be a mom. If you're a kid, to obey your parents. But you are raising a bunch of rebels. You are raising a bunch of rebels. Rebels against God. Rebels against authority. You're going to give an account to our Lord Jesus Christ. Bible Belt Christian. You are a phony Christian if you're going to go to a, a stadium that's not going to give glory to God. A lot of you are phony, hypocrites, Christians. Eternal, eternal life, the gift of God, is free. But there's one condition. you got to forsake. you got to repent. you got to turn from your sins and choose life. The Word of God says, I set before you this day life and death. Choose life. So we're out here uh, telling, reminding you, there's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to buy a ticket into heaven. But you gotta know the Christ who can get you there. You can't buy your tickets into the pearly gates. You gotta know Jesus. Jesus said that He is the way, the truth, and the life. There's no one that's going to the Father except with Jesus Christ. You can't buy tickets to the pearly gates. You gotta already have your ticket when you show up. And if you don't show up without a ticket, God's gonna send you straight to hell. Just like when you show up and you don't got the money to pay a ticket to get inside this football stadium, you're gonna be turned away. That's how it's gonna go at the pearly gates. If you don't got your ticket, if you don't have the King of Kings going before you, then you won't be sent to hell fire with the rest of the heathens that rejected the free gift of salvation. To be carnally minded, to care about football is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ. He loved you enough to give his only son. I know a lot of you heathens like to murder your children in the world. Well, God knows a love greater than you. God sent his only son for you. It says in the word of God that before I formed you in the world, I knew you. And look at you now. Look at you now rejecting that gift. Shame on you. Shame on you. Keep on walking. Yep, yeah, keep on walking. Don't listen to the preacher. Keep on walking and you're going to walk right to hell. You're going to enjoy a few football games and then you're going to burn alive forever. The party in hell's been canceled due to the fire. You think a few football games, you think this idol is worth your eternal soul? Not only your eternal you're going to be separated from God. There's going to be a great chasm that won't be able to be crossed. That's why Jesus had to come. Jesus had to come to cross that chasm. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And you need a ticket into heaven. You need Jesus into heaven. You might come up here. The Bible says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor Carolina Panther idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards will inherit the kingdom of God. We come out here to warn you today to flee from the wrath that comes. You need to get right with the God of the Bible before it's everlasting too late. You need to stop living for carnality. Stop living for the things of the world. This football game is not going to matter five years from now. And it's surely not going to matter a hundred years from now who won this football game. You're wasting your life. You need to live for Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for you. He shed his blood for you. 200 years from now, what's going to matter? The only thing that's going to matter is what you did for Jesus Christ. The only thing that's going to matter is if you repent and put your faith and trust in Him was born again. Oh, people, it's time to turn from your sins. It's time to uh, 
stop being a sports idolater. If you love the Carolina Panthers more than you love Almighty God, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Most of you know more football uh, stats than you do the Holy Scriptures. Most of you know more about the football players in here than you do about Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. Oh, you may shake your head, you may think we're fools, but I'm not the one worshiping football. I'm not the one worshiping nonsense. It's just a football game. A bunch of guys walking around in tights, carrying around a pigskin, chasing each other around. And that's what you spend your money, your time, your thoughts on. You need to worry more about your eternal soul. What would it profit a man if he gains this whole world and loses his own soul? Jesus Christ came and died on the cross for you. He offers you eternal life. You can live forever. But the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. It's time to repent. It's time to repent. It's time to turn from all your wickedness, to turn from your drunkenness, to turn from your pornography watching, to turn from your homosexuality, and most definitely turn from your Carolina Panther idolatry. Idolaters will not inherit the kingdom of God. You need to read the Bible and obey it. The Bible says to be doers of the word. Why don't you have any urgency? Where's your urgency in your life? Why don't you care? Get up off your rear ends, you lazy population. Where is your urgency? Choose life, God said. I set before you this day life and death, blessing and cursing. Choose life. But you choose death continually. Where's your urgency for the life that he offers you? Where's the urgency for you to serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Yes, I do. What makes you think that you can get into heaven when they own him? You think your good works are going to get you into heaven? God sees your part. God sees your masturbation. God sees your lust, your murder, your Need. You need to be converted. 
It says, so your sins may be blotted out, and the times of refreshing that come from the presence of the Lord.